you have a webcam and you're using Linux and you're kind of stuck because you're unable to uh, show your webcam on internet as in the blog TV or in stick cam or live video then you said okay there's flash 10 who, who now support more webcams but still uh, you would like to have some special effects uh, some text overlay uh, some images uh, a banner at the bottom but there is no software currently doing that for Linux they are for Windows they are for uh, OS X but nothing for Linux actually no it's not true there is one software currently that is able to do that and it's webcam studio for GNO Linux an open source project that I started a few weeks ago uh, that is able to do a lot of things so I'm gonna show you in this small video all the features that is currently supported by a webcam studio and it's available for both platform 32-bit and 64-bit uh, available in an archive binary archive format and also in a Debian package uh, for Debian user and effectively uh, the source code is available from SourceForge, sourceforge.net uh, in the subversion repositories so let's start with a small uh, tour of webcam studio you have as you see my webcam that's my main web webcam in the laptop I'm currently using let's say that um, I want to have a banner at the bottom then no problem here's here's my banner that is a PNG file where I simply put a transparent color here and the banner is at the bottom but I could have also uh, selected just that part of the banner uh, without having it full size to uh, to to the webcam let's say um, okay I want to have another webcam because uh, this is my internal webcam here but I have another one the iToy for the PlayStation 2 that is uh, available uh, and working under Linux but actually is not compatible with a lot of software but it is with GStreamer so since uh, uh, Webcam Studio is based on GStreamer, then we can use the ITO, iToy webcam. So I'm going to show it to you. Here it is. This is my second webcam that I can use as I, as I need. But let's say I have two webcams. So why not show them both at the same time? Just give me a second. Okay. Why not bo show both at the same time? So let's resize that one to make it smaller hey and okay I wanna have them side by side so let's click on the first one and resize it oh gee it's behind so let's move it to the right like that okay now I have I have two webcam so why not m change them a little let's rotate them going to be nicer here in the presentation here like that so I now have two webcam at the same time on the same laptop every everything was done with the mouse it, it's a GUI a full GUI full wizard full easy uh, nothing from the command line this is meant to be fun and easy to use uh, so uh, don't be afraid you'll have fun using it so I have different colors on the two webcams so let's say that I'm gonna pick this one and change some video settings let's put the lightning and the brightness uh, the brightness and the contrast at different levels so they won't be too mo too different and change the U there okay here it's it kind of looks better and here I can play with color level the saturation so now they're mo they're they look more like in the same tone of colors than uh, it was previously uh, possible. Uh, okay, so now you're able to show uh, banners. You're able to show two webcams. So what to do more? Let's show text. Why not? Here I'm going to show you. Currently, a banner uh, uh, over my banner. There, there is 
text that, sh that is showing one line at a time so you can have several lines of text that sh will show like that uh, you can place it at the top in the middle at the right bottom middle left uh, bottom where's the bottom bottom there <laughs> middle right and left normally I prefer that in in the top like that and you can play with the text and with the colors also you can have different colors uh, of font and different background also and you even can can change the opacity of the text that is currently shown so you can show now text what more oh okay uh, special effects let's go with special effects there are several special effects in there but I'm going to show you just a few of them to give you an idea. So I'll pick this one, resize it full screen, like that. Here it is. Let's be more in front of it. And uh, I can play, I can have this effect, mosaic. Let's put it in front of the banner so we'll see everything and I can also use uh, I have mosaic, I have mosaic delayed like that I have difference that I call where I play a lot with the movement the LCD, oops, I need to change the lightning a little because we won't see a thing here uh, let's move that, okay now we see something like those old Game Boys uh, pixelized to stay anonymous mirror a classic with webcam and scan where you don't want to move too much because you're gonna get all too all too strange and drawings with a kind of a reduced color mode so those are the, the kind of effects I can have also other effects that are available are from the GStreamer framework since I'm relying on this to uh, display video so I'm gonna stop my webcam that's something I need to do and start it again and as you s and as you saw I can stop and start a webcam without affecting the output so uh, if you're on a site like like blog TV you need to to unplug or and replug your webcam or change your webcam or stop it and start it doesn't matter because actually uh, the, the the flash player or the software that will be recording will only see the virtual webcam and not the webcams th themselves so now you currently have the aging effect uh, looks like an old TV stop it and let's put the quark effect in there it's coming here is the quark effect I'm kind of disintegrating as I move so that's another nice one as special effect let's stop it and let's click uh, click the warp TV and it's coming great so now I'm like underwater I have kind of different uh, special for effects. There are others, I'll let you discover them uh, as you use the software. Uh, it's pretty easy, uh, all buttons, all sliders, 